sunshine. This is Joy from Michigan in the U.S. coming to you today from a very noisy busy house. So hopefully the background noise isn't too much and I won't have to do a voiceover but I'm going to try to do it the normal way first and then if we need to switch to a voiceover we can do that. So first let me say I'm so sorry it's been so long. It has been an incredibly busy summer with last minute trips that were planned. I've done several art shows which has been wonderful and I just I haven't been in my art room for a couple months and I'm really missing it so today I just decided I had to make some time. So I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas today. This is a new canvas for me. This is Master's Touch made specifically for paint pouring. So let me flip it over. It has a nice sturdy piece of cardboard on the back so that hopefully it won't sag, which for me means hopefully I can finish this with a resin coat. That is my, that's my big goal. So I'm going to do very similar to video number 156, which was one of my favorite pours, probably the most excited you've ever seen me on any of my videos if you've watched that one. It's gonna be an open cup, open cup? I think that's what it's called. My little cup, I'm gonna put the colors in there onto my base coat, which is a combination of lake blue and turquoise green. I'm not positive I mixed enough together here, so I have the individual colors as well that I can add as needed. Pardon the banging. Home improvements are being done, which is a good thing, but it's also a noisy thing. So I, if you watched video 156, you know that I kind of spun this spawn neck particular canvas to maintain the cell shape and the flow of the original painting. I'm not sure I can do that with a 16 by 20. So we'll see. I do have a plan in mind. Because this has the backing on it, it makes it a little more feasible, but I'm not 100% certain that that's going to work. So we'll see. It could get really messy today, guys. Get that clump out. I think I'm just going to add the rest of this. So this is one of my reusable cups. I love these cups. They're wonderful. They clean very easily. So the little bit of paint that will be left in the bottom, I'm going to leave my stick in there. It'll dry and it'll peel out really easily. And then I'm not putting paint into our water. Um, trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly. I feel like we need to go further down on that end. I don't think this is enough paint, guys. So I think, I think I'm going to add to this. We'll have the, the mixed colors in the middle. And then I'm going to add some on the outside edges. So I hope you all are doing well. I know that Australia went back into a shutdown. I haven't heard any updates on that since I heard that they were back in shutdown. So hopefully you guys are doing okay out there. I hope you're able to create, enjoy your process, get some art therapy. I mentioned I've done a couple art shows. It has been really wonderful. I've had a really, really well-received collection and We've made several sales, which has been nice. So it's been kind of a nice, nice summer for me. All right, good old palette knife. We will just spread these colors around, and I'm not too worried about my edges, um, which is unusual for me because I'm usually very worried. But I know if I spin this, it's it's all going to change anyway. So let's. Let's not worry too much about it. So I did put turquoise green on the end closest to me and lake blue on the end farthest from me. In case you're curious about what those colors look like individually. I think I probably put a little more lake blue in my background mix. Um, just because that's what felt like it needed to be done. I don't know. That's what my heart said to do. So that's what I did. I will say that the canvas texture on this feels, it feels like a thinner canvas, which I don't know how I feel about that. Will it absorb as much? There's a good question. 
So I'll let you know once this dries how I actually feel. I didn't buy too many. They are a little more expensive than just a regular canvas, but I thought, man, if I could, if I could have an easy way to resin these, that would be really, it'd be fun to resin some larger pieces. And I haven't done that up to this point because I'm so nervous to resin a larger piece and have it ruin it, have it sag in the middle and have all sorts of issues from that. So, oh goodness, sorry guys, this is the boring part. <clears throat> you can fast forward past this if you want. Wait till you see me put the cup on and that'll be the next part that's actually fairly interesting. Hopefully, hopefully interesting. I shouldn't uh, assume. So hopefully this will be the start of me getting back into my art room way more frequently because it feels like it's been forever. So it's been too long, that's for sure. Just got back from Florida. That was a really fun trip. Just me and my daughter went. There was a conference there that she wanted to go to and we were able to do that. That was our last minute trip, very last minute. So glad that worked out though. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I don't, I, I'm not used to working on my table this, this format. I'm trying to figure out my tripod still. Okay, so let's pop some air bubbles. Especially in this middle. The colors that were mixed, they had a lot of air bubbles, so we're just going to go ahead and clean that up. I am finding that I really enjoy working on larger pieces. I have a lot, a lot of little pieces, but I'm really enjoying the larger pieces, and they seem to be selling better, so that's kind of interesting. All right, let's just go for it. We are going to start with gold, 24 karat gold by Extreme Sheen. Oh. I shook this, but I apparently didn't shake it enough, guys. That was kind of an oily little drip. We'll see how that impacts things. All right, it's gonna be a little different than my previous video because I have some blues that have been sitting on my shelf for two months and need to be used. I'm not really sure what they are. This one looks like a phthalo blue plus silver, maybe. So we'll see. Kind of curious if I need to do thicker layers because it's a bigger painting. I have a tendency to do thin layers. This is copper. I'd love to tell you which brand, but guys, it's been too long. I cannot remember. I'm sorry. This is Extreme Sheen. No. Yes, yeah, Extreme Sheen Coral, which I just love. It is a luscious, warm, lovely color. use a fair amount of that and then we're just going to use a pinch of the orange the orange tended to take over tended I'm not sure I said that right guys it, it um it really took over on the last painting and I didn't really want all that orange so I didn't didn't love that we add some gold we are getting some pretty pretty effects here we go this is another blue that I can't tell you what it is I'm sorry it's a metallic blue of some sort. And then we're going to go back to our copper. And then let's add a bunch more. Look at that coral popping up. So pretty. I really want the coral to pop on this one. Let's add some gold. And then we'll do this dark blue. Oh, maybe not. That seems to be pretty predominant. Let's do this lighter blue. All right, and then we'll do just a touch of the dark blue. I'm just winging it, guys. I think that's, the, oh, there's a great big clump there, though. Let's see if I can get that out of my cup without 
There we go. Good. All right. And then I'm going to do gold and then coral, and then we're going to call it good. Gold. And finish it off with my coral. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this whole cup. I do have, I added Floetrol to the whole bottle, so I do have, I have quite a bit left. And I'm trying to switch to all reusable cups. I do have some plastic ones left that I'm using up. I'm sorry to say, but all right, we're just gonna help this around. Okay, look at that. <laughs> so pretty. All right, I'm gonna hit this with some heat. Look at all these beautiful cells, no silicone any of these paints. All right, I am going to change my setup because I think I want to spin this bad boy and it's going to be so messy. I can't do it up on my table because it'll end up all over me. Um, so the reason I spin is that these cells will kind of hold their shape and if I try to tilt it, you're going to get wonky cells and I don't like wonky cells. Some people love that look. I personally do not. So hopefully we can get this to spread up so that we've got not as much negative space here and not as much focus right there. So bear with me, I'm gonna change my setup and I will be right back. All right guys, here we go. Cross your fingers with me that this turns out lovely. See, I'm scared I'm gonna lose all the loveliness off this one edge, so maybe. Here, we'll try to very gently encourage it to go more this way. All right, let's just spin it and see what we get, guys. I'm going to try to, we'll see. I don't know if I'm making good decisions or bad decisions, but here goes. How big those cells are getting, that's fantastic. stretching. Doesn't say do I want to stretch. All right, we're going to keep spinning then. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Okay, I think one more and we're done. Be right back with you all right guys back with you i am really happy with how that spun i do feel like it was pushing up on the cardboard a bit it almost appears to be warped a little bit but i can't tell if that's the paint colors that are kind of giving me that um that view of this or if it's actually warping so i'll watch it and let you know what i think i am going to clean up my edges a little bit there's a little bit of blue and turquoise here not mixed together that i don't like so I'm just going to, with my palette knife, blend those a little bit better. Okay. 
and we'll see how that dries hopefully hopefully I like it better than what was there originally all right so this corner my husband likes but I don't so I told him sorry but we're gonna change it so it looks kind of like this was thinner and it spread easier than the green and I just don't like that so we're just gonna again with my palette knife just sort of blend the colors a little better so there's not that definitive line of green versus blue which is the wonderful thing about this medium you can just kind of go in and adjust things as you want kind of tweak them i am finding the edges are a little more challenging to cover or they're not impossible by any means but the paint doesn't want to flow as easily over the edges because there's a hard line here a hard edge so but it's where it spun over it did fine it's these sections where there really wasn't enough paint and i'm having to fill it in by hand um they're a little harder to cover but we're getting there so I will finish tucking, no, finish touching up my edges off camera because I know that's a less than thrilling portion of this to watch. So I will give you guys a close up and hopefully see you soon in another video. I am not making any promises because I know my summer always already went haywire. So it's going to be hard to predict what will happen in the next few weeks, but I think that is it for now, guys. Thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you all hopefully soon on another video. Sorry about my shadow here, guys, but we'll get rid of it as we go in for a close-up. So down in this corner, we do have a little bit of wonky cells, but oddly enough, they don't bother me. They're, I love the coral mixed in with the gold it's so sheeny shiny and then we go into that deep blue the lacing here is really cool I did a little bit of work here just trying to incorporate that line a little more not too much just a little I love this little trail of pink well coral really cells here that kind of make a little line that's fun. Got this lovely gold and orange corner there. Here's the corner that I blended a little more. I think it's going to dry very nicely. Got some lovely cells right there. These kind of mysterious dark, I'm thinking it's probably copper poking up through that deep blue. And then hopefully I will be able to add a coat of resin. Let me know what you guys think of this one, if I should try this again or what I should do differently, and I will let you know how this canvas holds up under all of this paint as well as resin on another video. Thanks guys! All right, guys, if you've stayed tuned, you get the bonus bits. Just wanted to share with you some pieces that I've finished. This is a table that I resined. This one was a lot of fun. It was a blow dryer technique. Not really a Dutch pour, but similar. Two coats of resin. And then we, we added the hairpin legs. So this was a really fun piece. And one more bonus bit. This is the table that I videoed quite a while ago. The finished piece in my son's game room. It 
it cured so lovely. So this was again a blowout and then a coat of resin. This one just has one coat. And it was just like a garage sale kind of table. And we just painted the top, resined it. We may eventually paint the bottom half white, but for now, my son has a nice little table.